So recently, my Wi-Fi has been an absolute nightmare. No matter where I go in my house, no matter how hard I try, I just cannot get any reliable connection and it's driving me crazy. Whether I'm gaming or trying to work, I have no faith that my Wi-Fi won't drop at the worst possible minute. After a load of angry emails with my ISP and some frustrating phone calls, I was about to throw in the towel or at the very least throw my phone against the wall. But then I had an idea. So the plan here is to make my own Wi-Fi signal strength tester. It'll tell me where the signal is weak, where it's strong, and I can plan my work and gaming location accordingly. It's definitely not a great long-term solution, but hopefully it'll get me by in the meanwhile. So I loaded up ChatGPT to get some ideas going, and I also used it to hash out a sketch that I can use with my microcontroller. For this project, we're going to be using an ESP32 as our microcontroller. This will get all the Wi-Fi data and print it out onto an OLED screen. And then I'm also going to use some LEDs to give a quick visual representation of the signal strength. Once I had my sketch and components ready, it was just a case of putting it all together on a breadboard before committing to some more filament and some more 3D printing. I tested the prototype around my house and it worked really really well. It was nice, accurate, but it wasn't giving too much information so there wasn't too much electrical noise or signal noise so to speak. It worked really well and I was happy enough with the prototype. So the next step then was to load up Fusion 360 and make an enclosure for this. The way I like to model cases of my electronics is first by modelling the individual components I'll be using. You don't need to go down into nitty gritty detail as long as you get the overall shape that will get you by. Once I have the individual components, I then compile them as I have in my imagination in Fusion 360 and then go ahead and build a case around it and out of all the methods that I've tried, I find this actually gives me the most accurate fits. While the 3D printers were working their magic, I got to putting the circuit together. I put it all together, held it together with some M3x20s I believe or 30s and the overall outcome was really nice. All in all, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It looks pretty good, it's fairly ergonomic to use, and most importantly, it gives me the most important information in a very easy to read fashion. The LEDs are nice and accurate, they're quite receptive to signal strength, and the OLED is a nice, accurate way of reading and getting a bit more data out of it. In terms of what could have been better, I'm not too sure on this clear pet jing. I thought I'd try something a little bit different, but I'm not sold on it. Maybe it has its place, but for me, I think I'll, st I'll use it for prototyping only until I find a product or a project that I think it looks really good on. But otherwise, I think I'd like to use a bigger OLED screen again, which is funnily enough what I said with my last project. So there's a little bit of a theme emerging here. But otherwise, I think we're good to go with this. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you did, please consider liking, subscribing and leaving a comment down below. Maybe you could give me some suggestions as to what projects you'd like me to tackle next or you could give me some really kind, much welcome feedback on these videos. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.